If anybody has seen this code before, I have news for you. I uh, recently contacted GoTrax about it. Uh, they were not forthcoming on an answer for it other than that they would replace the headstock on it. This is a GoTrax VX, G, excuse me, GXL V2. Um, pretty nice little scooter, got a good deal on it. Uh, I'll give you the stats real quick. Uh, 250 watt motor, 500 watt max. Uh, they say 430 max. I imagine this can go to 500. Um, disc brake, regenerative braking through the brake handle. We'll discuss that in just a moment. The uh, speed control located in here with your charging. Nice connection between the battery and the head unit. Um, plugs in. And uh, you have a one throttle brake, like I said, with regenerative. And, um, and a lot of people report that uh, the regenerative braking doesn't work. I assure you it does. They think that this brake works uh, amazingly and there's nothing happening to the motor, but disconnect the two and you'll find out real fast that the disc brake isn't as good as you thought it was. Uh, it does regen fast. I imagine it's putting the same amount of amperage back into the battery, which happens to be a 5.4 amp hour battery or 5,400 uh, milliamp hours. Uh, 36 volt and uh, 250 watt, 15.5 miles per hour, and zero to 15.5 is a modest, uh, probably nine seconds. I don't know. All I know is I peg it at 15.5 and I keep it there. It has cruise control, kind of an intermittent hit or miss cruise control. It's not the best. It doesn't let you beep. It doesn't beep to let you know that it's in it. Things like that. But for the money, it's a great little scooter. It's well built. Uh, it doesn't rattle very much. Um, and things that do rattle were the bell, which I removed. Uh, I put a rack on it from GoTrax, which actually, it's okay. I mean, I don't know what you carry, that 12 pack of beer. Uh, took all the fenders off at one time, took all the rubber off, I've stripped it down, and then I've re-put it all back together. Anyway, back to the 25E. If you see this code, when you hold your brake and press the power button, thinking you're finding a secret menu, that 25E is actually throwing a code because there is no connection in the brake handle. I learned this because when I put it back together, I had uh, messed up inside there. Something I did, I don't know. Uh, but it basically threw up that code. It would not go. Um, a lot of people are confused by it. They think that they either found a secret menu by pulling the brake back and turning the power on or pushing the throttle down, putting the power on. If you press the throttle down to do the power on, it's 22E. So you have 25E and 22E. If you get that code for any reason riding around, that code has to do with those two things. That's all it is. So just remember, there must be a loose connection here or in your throttle or inside the speed control and the throttle switches are basically the throttle cable connectors are loose or the brake cable connector is loose uh, for the regenerative braking. Uh, you will, um, you really will like the scooter, and if you have to call GoTrax, they are very forthcoming. They are very nice. Um, I give them kudos. I got a little upset with them because I kept getting the same thing. Um, this one actually has another problem, which I haven't been able to figure out yet. I really don't care about it, but this one will not shift from one to two. Um, you can do everything you want. I've done multiple times. I can turn the light on. I can turn the light off. I can hold it for seconds. It'll just turn off. I can hold it, I can just keep doing this. I mean, all day long, it doesn't do anything. I've done everything I possibly can, but it will not shift from one to two. They sent me the directions, I think three times on how to do that. I kept telling them I'm very well aware of how to work these. Um, this is not my first rodeo, but I wasn't trying to be mean or anything, but this is not my first rodeo with any kind of electronic vehicle. And uh, I, it just doesn't work. And there, and I think they will be sending me a new head unit. They, they offered it in the beginning with the 25E code when I didn't know that what that was. They didn't tell me what it was. I just figured it out. But um, they said they would send me a new unit as long as I could prove uh, this was a GoTrax unit. And it is. So, um, but I, I don't know. I don't really care. I, I stay at 15.5 miles an hour everywhere I go. And I hope to go faster than that with dual motors and uh, two vests and uh, some extra batteries and some neat things like that. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to put it into this scooter because this one's actually fairly reliable. Or I'm going to put it into something like that skateboard. Well, the skateboard has a vest in it. And uh, and maybe the front wheel of that bike if I can figure out how to do a, a lefty uh, electric motor on this bike. Nobody seems to have a hub big enough. Anyway, um, just thought I'd let you know. So no big freak out. Uh, generally, it's just a little loose connection. Um, it will disable the scooter. It can be frustrating, but it's a real easy fix. 
So you just basically check in these, open this up. You unscrew it from bottom to low. I'm sure you've done these before if you had a BMX bike growing up or if you have a BMX bike now. Um, you've worked on it before. It is have a little magnetic magneto thing in there similar to the throttle that basically stays shut. You could even take it apart and touch a magnet to it and it'll start up. Uh, start up like, it'll turn over. Um, you know what I mean, it'll start. So uh, anyway, if anybody has any clues on the how to fix that or seen that problem before where they don't shift from one to two, you can send it. I've done everything. I've taken the speed controller apart. I've rewired a lot of things. Um, I just can't seem to look. I think it's a firmware issue or something of that nature, which we will find out later on. I'm sure I'll destroy this one as much as I've destroyed all the others. Anywho, I hope that works out for you. If you have any questions, please post them. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. This is not my full-time job. Uh, nothing's really my full-time job anymore. So um, I can do my best to get back with you. I have worked on that Segway. Um, I'm glad a lot of people have had success with it. Uh, that Segway is now gone. I've actually purchased three more since then and fixed them. Um, and, uh, and I kept one for a long time and it's gone. So anyway, um, on to the scooters. I'll come back with uh, updates if I find out anything new. Thanks, bye.